Want this? Nah, hold on. Hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Sorry, that was a wrong video. Here's the real video. All right, let's not waste your precious time and start the tutorial. First, duplicate the mask layer, then add CC Light Sweep and follow my settings. Now add Turbulent Displace and follow my settings. Add a 2.0 keyframe in size at the start of the clip and another at the end. Then increase complexity and evolution however you like. Add a graph like this between the size keyframes and it will look like this. Now add CC Mr. Mercury and follow my settings. Add a few glow effects and change the settings however you like. After doing all that, the preview will look something like this. Now duplicate the layer and change the effect settings as I'm doing. Drag the main mask layer on top of the other layers. The preview will now look like this. To improve it more, duplicate the third layer, remove the deep glow, change the CC light sweep color, and adjust other effect settings. Duplicate the layer one more time and change its settings as well. Continue making changes in all layers for more improvement. If you don't like the results, duplicate the layer again and change the settings.
Select all the aura layers and pre-compose them. Duplicate the aura layer, add tint, then deep glow. Duplicate this layer again, add CC Mr. Mercury. Drag the effect on top of deep glow and change the settings as I'm doing. Duplicate the third layer without effects. Add the CC glass effect and change the settings to whatever you prefer. Press S and scale the layer a bit. Add CC Mr. Mercury. Drag it on top of CC glass and adjust the settings. tint and glow effects. Duplicate the layer, scale it down slightly. Add turbulent displace and move it on top of all other effects and adjust its settings however you like. Change the tint color if you want to. Duplicate the main mask layer, add CC light sweep and deep glow for some lighting. Pre-compose all main mask layers, then pre-compose all aura layers. After that, I did some compositing, but now do Twixter to the aura layer if you want a smooth, slow aura effect. If you want lighting like this, follow my steps.
that's it. The tutorial is finished. Here's the preview of the final result after compositing. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing videos and tutorials. Bye for now, and I'll see you in the next video.